If you've ever been in class and you've wanted to share a web page, you know how frustrating it sometimes can be because sometimes the web URLs are like super long. And so um, one of the easiest ways to do that is through a QR code. Um, now, if I'm prepping for class ahead of time, I'll create a QR code, maybe put in a PowerPoint presentation or something or open it up large on the screen. But if you're in the middle of class and you come across something, maybe you've created a new I don't know, document to share with your students or something, and has a super long cryptic URL, um, that's obviously not something you're going to end up typing in. So you can go out a longer route to get it to them, but the quickest way is to just instantly create a QR code, which they can scan with their phones or their tablets. Um, so how do we do that? Well, I use a little bookmark light. I know there's some people who use like Chrome extensions and stuff like that, but I like this because it it can be used on any of the browsers that I have, so I can use on Firefox or Chrome or Safari or um, Edge or something like that. So, uh, how do I do it? Well, first you're going to go to the website jsqr.de, takes you here, and then you click on bookmarklet. And here you'll see it says this little thing, show QR code. So what I'm going to do is I want to make sure my bookmark bar on my browser is up here. So I'm just going to click and drag. And as soon as I get here, it gives me another arrow. I let go, and I've got my bookmark. So now what do I do? Well, if I go to a web page, surprise, surprise, my own web page. So what I do is I'm here, and I want to share it. All I do is click on the bookmark, and voila, a QR code immediately appears in the center of the screen. Now, if it's too small and you want to make it bigger, actually the quickest way I've found is to use the keyboard shortcut for your browser, which is Control Plus and it will zoom in nice and big so that people can scan it and it will they will be able to go directly to that web page. Um, very handy and then once you're done and you want to get back out, um, you're back to regular size, all you do is click on OK and you're back to your same web page. So it's very easy for students to be able to scan it or if I'm doing a presentation, I want to share a web page, people can scan it. Once they're done, I can click OK and I go back to the web page I'm at. So hopefully that helps you. Good luck.